Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é a Aleartes. Seguinte, a Blakestore.com, a melhor loja do Brasil, está comprando e vendendo skins com os melhores preços do mercado. Faz o upgrade nas suas skins antigas, compra o seu inventário completo e 100% confiável. Utilizando o cupom ALEARTS1, você vai adquirir mais desconto nas suas compras. Então, entra no link da descrição e não perde essa oportunidade. Any longer. Here we go. MIBR and phase. Let's see what can happen. They're going to be rushing down towards the ramp room. Taco, not even a chance. He's going to be out of it. And now for, yeah, he's hoping, he wishes they'd come to take a look. It'd be great if he could get someone there. Phelps actually going to be taking down Olaf, and he's just backing off back, I think, through the uh, door there. So that was a smart play, and they're going to be falling back instead. For oh, no! no! Knocking out both players. Oh. One more in there. Outrageous performance from Fur. They just lined up for it. That was purely robotic, wasn't it? Nico is alone, and with that P250, I mean, you don't want to underestimate him, but that is a shocking turnaround. Here he comes, one versus two. He knows where the bomb is, but so does Fur, who's just playing at CT spawn. I don't think Nico ever expects this angle from Fur. Can he complete four? There it is from behind. Nico, he spins. He has a chance. Oh, and he predicts the next one. A headshot. Oh, it's a follow up. Nico's pulled it out of nowhere. One. And Adren has one. A good kill from Phelps. Utility running low for both teams, though. So they have to get something out of this. And again, ramp room. We go for phase. Yeah. Taco, he got caught at least uh, one or two times here. And this time, he's not going to get caught falling back instead. I think that is almost the essence of playing ramp uh, for any team. You know, you just got to be able to to run quick when you know that the danger is about to be. It's actually more important than getting kills in some sense, just staying alive. Yeah, in certain scenarios, that's maybe over aggressive from Fur. As Jet calmed down, Guardian not able to find the timing, not quick enough. I don't think he recovered his aim quite yet to take that shot, but nicely done from Fallen. Two kills in the rotation over towards ramp and then back towards outside. So Adren gonna have to make something happen in this upper bomb site. Although Nico's gonna open things up, Cold Zera still hasn't moved, but now he's got two angles to worry about. Oh, it's looking very awkward. Scoping up right in front, and oh, AK right in his face. Phelps with a good return, and 30 seconds, yeah, Phelps is gonna take care of it. Not a lot of time with the bomb being outside. Can Cold hold his bomb site? Well, Fallen's here. Oh no, the timing, he looks away, comes back with a Famas, and he's gonna get that one kill. That's actually pretty important. Grenade goes deep and chases down Rain and Nico a little bit, and inside of the bomb site, waiting all along, holds Sira. Nearly a double. I think he might have done enough anyway here. 10 seconds left. They have to stick this, and actually, Nico's teammate can't cover him from above. He's gotta go around to the other side. So, dangerous scenario. There's the swing up top, and there's the kill on the ladder through the vent. Nico now left alone, and he almost finds that. There might have been a second where he could have had an opportunity to reposition. A second round for MIBR, but they've had to fight for these two. That was that was some creative play from Fur. On that the ladder is, in the vent, yeah, yeah, that's high risk. I mean, like that may seem really easy, but actually that vent. No, but I mean, I mean, no matter how many clutches and how good Nico is going to be in this game, you got to wonder what's the best version of his of his teammates. Like, where do we get them punched in the desk? Cold Zera is going to be able to fall back as well. And where does Phase go from here? They haven't even started to get into this bomb site yet. What a great read from Cold Zero. He knew exactly what the follow-up would be to that smoke. He knew there was going to be a flashbang coming next and took care of it. Although Taco goes down, it's another good opening being made from Nico Corson. Bit of a kill there on Cold Zero. Two on three now. We need to get down and get that bomb planted. Couple of seconds left. They just get it done. One more headshot. And Nico again. And he's going to get a little bit of help from Adren there. Finishing off the round. Yeah, nice game. No, but they've really, f they've really fought hard for it, haven't they? You know, they've really put in the effort to to get here. Can you imagine if Nico didn't win a one on two in the pistol round? I mean, that would uh, that would certainly be a crushing, uh, a crushing first half for uh, for Phase for sure. Yeah, he's. I mean, I don't know how many again, like how many drinks can they buy him after the game? <laughs> for to make it. Every game, every you know, every event. I don't know that we are, we are. Yeah, it's obviously not this uh, one side of the phase team. It is actually grotesquely a team of all-star players, so we, we are mostly just making fun of them, but um, he's certainly doing a lot right now. Nico to follow up there with a kill on Cold Sierra. Was opened up, I think, that round by Guardian, getting the opening kill with that AWP. Taco it's thinking about it with a Deagle. Not going to be successful early. Oh, actually, the grenade probably will do it. Nicely done. Yeah, the rain's above him. Taco has no idea. So rain can assassinate the upper bomb site. 
He can prevent Taco from getting involved whatsoever. Hasn't even really peeked into that upper bomb site just yet. Isn't the rain almost always above you, Moses? Dren getting the next kill there, taking down Phelps and Taco. Wanted to get up there, but smoke from here. I'm about to find out. I guess you haven't been doing your theory crafting. Here oh. we go. Oh, that'd be so cool if that was the case. Dropping into the bomb site is Guardian. Good kill from Fur with the P250. A follow-up. It's all on Guardian now. He must make this work. Nico is waiting to come through the smoke, but Guardian has to give him the time and give him the moment. And there he is. He comes through and Fur finds him. And Guardian, no bullets left. Glock's gonna finish him off. Great pistol round from MIBR. 10 to 6 lead to withstand a pistol round loss. Yeah. I feel like in, uh, well, they're gonna go quick this round, so maybe we'll, we'll pick it up after this one is done. They're just gonna be running right through and actually charge him, picking up a kill there. Follow up the raid. Oh no. Crumbling a little bit as Fur goes down. Nico with a double kill. And Cold Zero gonna get shut down. That was that was throwing a, a little bit of a lead away there. Yeah. What went through his mind for that moment? Like if we could rewind it and put like some kind of I don't know ele like electrode on his brain yeah. to figure out what was going on, I would love to know. This all this turns into a very awkward round all of a sudden because there were there were players outside for my BR that weren't part of that hit. They were waiting, hoping to catch a rotation. I mean, if the bomb goes down inside of that smoke, then yeah, it's. Like all those players, as you said, who are so far outside, it makes it so hard for FaZe to try and get into the bomb side because you know, they're getting shot in the back and, and everything gets really weird. I think the tough part now is if you're FaZe, you have no idea to read where any of these MIBR players are. Everyone is static in this 4 and 3. They have plenty of utility, but they can't really use it themselves until they know what's coming. There's so much time for MIBR to get information and get back into this round. Olaf's in a tough scenario as that door is open. Collins just keeping a pin down, but he wins the fight anyways. Nico got one. That was up above in ramp room, and now FaZe holds on to this. Defense looking strong in a three on two. Now you can use the utility. Olaf has smoked out the windows. He's changed his position as well. Trying to keep them guessing. Taco tapping away. Needed that headshot really quickly. And that's just a beautiful play from FaZe here, making sure that it's never really a chance to take a isolated fight. Seven seconds left here, and it's just not going to be possible. Felt Fur's going to lurk it. Much of it. He wants to get towards Mini. This is going to be a set piece towards the upper bomb site. Fur's going to pinch in very, very quick. Adren is going to be under a lot of pressure. Fur's only job is to pick off Adren, and it's not going to happen. Adren holds strong. Now Rain builds upon that inside the site. Yeah, he was so ready for it. He was already scoped up, so... Nicely done, Taco. Not getting any space to stand on there behind the vent, and... All of my are now pushing up behind, just like Taco were when the roles were switch a little bit. And now Phelps is, well, one versus four, and not for very long. So 12 and two. This is it's down. You can smoke off Mini where Rain is holding to try and sort of keep him out of the fight a little bit, but the smokes land way behind, so pretending that they want a lot of yard control. And so far, that's not really keeping anyone occupied out in the yard. In fact, FaZe don't really care about that at all. Nice enough Molotovs there. Nico finding a little bit of a space where there aren't any flames. And he's going to get the one kill attempted follow up here. And Dren. Oh, hell. All of my helping out. I think I'm coming from the high ground. Cold Zero coming in with a couple of big kills. And now it's a one versus two. He would need to get a quad kill to try and finish this round. And now would definitely be the time to do it. He's going to go and put down that bomb. They're really far away from him. So he's got a little bit of space to work with. And even making his escape opening the side door to try and bait them out. I mean, this is the intelligence of a player like Cold Sierra. Now, did they buy it? Oh, no, but on the other side, Guardian, with a little bit of brains of his own, gonna put down that Molotov to try and force him in. Does he know? He definitely does. Already scoped up, and he's gonna get the kill on Cold Sierra. That may be that's, that's some head... What a comparisons, right? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, why not? I think there could be some uh, could be decent content out of that, for sure. 15 to 11 now. Match point at the moment. Round number 27 here. FaZe with the chance to take all of the points in this match. Or MIBR would need to win four in a row to start to bring it back in and tie up the scoreline and share the points between the two teams here. Dren, he is hoping for, a, for just a great spray down, which you can get from this position if they all try and get through at the wrong time. This is so risky. MIPR wants this upper bomb site, and they haven't been able to get it. And it's crazy. They're continuing to go back at it. Rain, Olaf, and Nico all here, still waiting. Phelps adds onto it. 
There's a shot from Guardian with the flake. Oh, and the, the follow-up as well in the no-scope. The triple kill on a Phelps. That is a beautiful flank from Guardian. And he might just, just shut down the hopes of MIBR. What a stunning finish. Defense reigns. Uh -oh.